everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Manchester. We've just taken the train in and we are arriving now, so time to explore. So cute! This trip is actually kind of a last minute day trip because we were gonna go into Chester today and also we want to, or Callum wants to get his new guitar tuned. Set so, up. set up, sorry, I don't know the terms. And there's a place in Chester that he likes to go to. They only had availability for tomorrow, so we decided that we might as well move that trip to tomorrow and today. We're in Manchester, so we didn't really plan too much for the day. We're just gonna walk around. I think first plan of business is just explore the North Quarter a bit. We might go to the football museum and there is an art exhibit that looks really cool, so we might check that out. But mostly just walking around, getting our steps in. It's a gorgeous day. I packed for rain because it rains like every day in the UK. <laughs> and with my luck, it is sunny out. I'll never complain about the warmth and the sun, but I am a bit toasty in this outfit, and I had a different outfit on this morning, and I changed because I thought it would rain. So, you know, it is what it is, but we are here, and we're ready for the day. It's quite busy for a Wednesday. I am beyond confused why there's a Tim Hortons in the UK. This ain't the US, and it's not Canada, so what? Like, what? We are just exploring around Afflex right now. They have so many different independently owned businesses, which is really cool with jewelry, there's like vintage stores, a little bit of everything. So just fun to walk around and see what they've got. This is like my favorite kind of shopping. I like these kind of stores. You just look at all the different things. Little dream catchers. I still have mine from when I was like eight. It's kind of cute. I think it's a skirt or a top? Probably a skirt, right? Yeah. It's kind of cute. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> these are the smallest glasses I've ever seen. I feel like Ozzy was born in these. walked around the North Quarter a bit, really cute area. There's some cute boutiques and shops and things like that. A lot of vintage stores, which is fun to obviously go through. Um, now we're gonna walk to the cathedral and hopefully we can take a look inside. I don't know if it's closed or not, but regardless, it's a gorgeous day out. I am so happy to be in the sunshine. in Riga. I think it was Riga, but massive. I think they have a service going on over there. Oh, so this is the main entrance. We came in through the side. Thank you. Have a good day. I was in need of a coffee and we just so happened to pass a Dunkin'. So I went in and I got a nice latte. No, I got a cold brew with oat milk and salted caramel syrup. So I'm quite excited about this. Taste test time. Mmm, I like the syrup. Made it to the library. Let's head on in. I feel like I'm in Hogwarts right now. This is insane.
that's when football was created. The library was really cool, but we had to wait in a queue to go through. I don't know if it was because there was a field trip that they had to let in first, but it was fine. We only waited about five minutes, not even, in the line. And uh, we walked on through. And now we have a couple hours left in the city. We are back home from Manchester. We decided to try out the Too Good To Go app. We picked up a mystery bag from Starbucks. I feel like this is a really safe bet because everything from Starbucks is good. So we've got the little bag. It cost five pounds and we're going to open it up together. See what we got. Are you ready? Drum roll please. First bag. We've got a muffin. Smells good. Next up, we've got another muffin. I want to say is a blueberry muffin. Also smells really good. We've got another pastry. What is this? Oh, it's good. Chocolate. This looks like some kind of chocolate turnover or something. Somewhat. Not too shabby. Okay. And then we've got three sandwiches. Nice. First one is a smoked bacon roll. Signature breakfast sandwich. Bacon, tomato, scrambled egg, and cheese. And lastly, we've got another smoked bacon roll. I feel like for five pounds, that's a pretty, pretty good deal. And they would be throwing this out anyways, so well worth the trip, I guess. The thing with this is you don't know what exactly you're going to get, so it really is a mystery. But I feel like we got pretty lucky with this bag. Although the service picking up the mystery bag at Starbucks was not it. The employees were so rude. And this is Starbucks. So, like, that is unacceptable at Starbucks. Hi, Ayona. She's been sleeping here all day. So we've taken another mini day trip out. It is another gorgeous day. Sun is shining. There is a bit of wind, so when that does pick up, it's a little chilly, but otherwise really, really nice. So we're just spending the day walking around. Um, there's some shopping, there's some cafes. It's just a really cute, picturesque area, so we're checking it out. And also we've dropped off Callum's guitar at the store a couple hours ago. So we're just waiting for that to be ready to go and that'll be set up. So in the meantime, we're just walking around. First purchase of the day. How stinking cute. Ooh. Right next to the... Performer. We might get something to eat now, and then we're gonna try and find a cute park to sit in by the water. Callum's in charge of directions today, so I'm just along for the ride. We can at least look at the menu here and see. That halloumi falafel yeah. wrap is calling my name. The chips do. Ooh, jalapeno and dill sounds good. Or there's salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar it is. I have a fixation with this stuff lately. I don't know why. We've got our food and we've just made it to the park. So we're gonna sit somewhere and feast. You wanna sit on the bench? Okay, so we got a chicken pesto sandwich they've put in the panini press, and then we have a halloumi falafel wrap, which sounds insane. This is the halloumi falafel wrap. I think this one's going to be the winner. Cheers. Cheers. Nice part. 
maar. We've picked up the guitar. We're gonna see how it is. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Um, and now we're trying to just let rush hour pass a little bit before heading home because it's 5.15 now. So the streets are gonna be busy if we leave now. So we've stopped for a coffee. I will never say no to a coffee break. So we got two oat milk iced lattes with salted caramel syrup. Oh, it's really good. I'm pleased. Cafe Nero. Usually when I'm traveling and I'm anywhere outside of the U.S., I try to not go to chain restaurants or like cafes because I like to find the local places and like the mom and pop shops. But this was convenient because it was on our way back to where we need to go. And a lot of the places are closing soon or have already closed since it's past five. So this works, you know? Here's our ride. Going to get some drinks. Going to get some drinks. Get a car. <laughs> no paparazzi. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It's like you know Smyrna Heights. Sure. Do you have that? Yeah. The view Katie is like some sixteen-year-old girls drink. <laughs> Friday. We are at the Leisure Center. We're playing pickleball. We rented the court for an hour. So we're here now and getting a good rally in. I've just actually learned the official game. Like before I would always just rally back and forth. But now Calum has taught me the real rules and how the scoring works. So we're in business. This is our court. There's two more courts for badminton and then there's a ping pong table at the end so you can rent them out for our time slots. Later that same evening. It is many hours later from pickleball. We are currently walking into the theater because we're gonna see Barbie! And I'm so excited and I've heard really great reviews about it. So we got a Coke Zero and some sweets and we're gonna try and sneak them in. Here we go! Barbie, here we come. so bad at vlogging the past few days. I apologize. The Barbie movie last night was so good. Like, I didn't even watch a trailer or anything going into it. It was solely based on the cast and all of the ads that I saw. And I just, I really enjoyed it. Callum really enjoyed it as well. But yeah, it was actually really good. I cried at one point in the movie and I was laughing a lot. There's a lot of good jokes and like references throughout the movie. So yeah, I am quite pleased with that. It was really fun to go and watch that. And we were able to sneak in our Coke Zeros and our candy, which was a score. And I have not been in a movie theater in I want to say like four or five years because after the pandemic, it took so long for theaters to reopen and I've been on ships for the past couple years. So it's been a really long time and it was really fun to go and see the movie in the theater. 
and they could not have casted that movie better. Like, honestly, it was a perfect casting. The fact that Will Ferrell was in it was hilarious. Michael Sarah, also so funny to be in it. And of course, obviously, Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling were like the perfect Ken and Barbie. So yeah, really enjoyed that. We've been at Starbucks for the past like three hours today, just getting work done. I've been editing, Callum did some emails, so we've been very productive on the laptops, but now I want to move my body. So I'm going to go for like a 20, 25 minute run, depending on how long my legs last, because I haven't really been working out too much since I've been here. It felt so good and I just missed the rain I think because as I was turning the last corner to get back to Callum's house it started to drizzle so I timed it perfectly now I've showered washed my hair I feel so much better so refreshed and clean and I've gotten ready because we're doing some tea with Callum's parents grandparents brother and niece and nephew so I'm excited so I got ready a little bit blow dried my hair, threw some makeup on, and I've got this little top on. So we're gonna have a nice evening and then I don't know what else is planned for the rest of the night. Probably just chill and then we have to pack because tomorrow we're leaving for another trip. Have come to England and not have a birthday cake on your birthday. So now it's a day early. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> OMG! You've got to eat all that. <laughs> yeah, that's all yours. Oh you my it's, goodness! It's obvious what this represents. This is the best cake I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you make this? You made it? Yep. I love it. I don't even want to eat it because it's not pretty. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is way too much. disbelief from this evening this was such a special night I was not expecting any of this like I knew we were doing dinner with his family but I did not expect any of this so it was a really special evening and I'm feeling really grateful and appreciative and it was so much fun to celebrate an early birthday with them the cake the cake that Callum's grandma made me is the most insane thing I've ever seen like she just made that for fun. The amount of time and effort she put into that cake is insane. Like, it was so detailed. Every tiny detail related to me somehow. Like, it was the most customized cake I've ever seen. It's me and a cake. And the shape was even like a luggage. So that was crazy. It's not even my birthday yet. Tomorrow's my birthday, but we are going on another trip. So we had a little celebration this evening and it was more than I could have asked for. I am excited to celebrate with my family when I go home in a few days, but it was really special to feel to feel celebrated while I'm away and spending the time with Callum's family. So yeah, I'm just really grateful and I don't really have words. It was such a nice night and a great start to 26. I am gonna end the vlog here because I do need to pack. We are leaving tomorrow. I don't even know where we're going yet. Callum booked train tickets and an Airbnb for us. So we are going for two days and just one night. So we're leaving tomorrow morning. I don't even know where we're going, but he's gonna tell me in the morning and I'm really excited. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna bring you guys along because I vlogged all of my birthdays since I was like 17 or 18. So it's kind of a tradition now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe my time here in England is almost over. It's so sad, it went by so fast but it does mean that I am headed to 
my next contract very very soon which I am excited about so stay tuned for more adventures soon. Love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.